Welcome back. Problem 1.24. So statement is knowing that theta is 40 degree, P is 9 kN. Determine the smallest allowable diameter of pin at A at B if the average shearing stress in the pin not exceed 120 megapascal and in B part corresponding average bearing stress in member A B at B and in C part corresponding average bearing stress in each of the support bracket at B. So from this diagram you can see this is member A B this is roof clear there is a point load of P and the angle which member A, A B made with horizontal is theta. So you have to find the um, allowable diameter of this pin at B. You have to first find this diameter and then in average bearing stress in this uh, member A B and in each of these bracket bearing stress in each of this support bracket so let's start with the solution so from this diagram we can see that this distance of a b is given as 750 and this distance is also 750 so there will be an isosceles triangle so let's draw it first so distance between b and c is given so this is b point this is c this distance is 750 a and b is also 750 this is point a this is also 750 clear so we will form an isosceles triangle is a b c so what we will do is that this angle theta is given as this angle is theta which is given as 40 degree so this is 40 degree and this will be 140 degree why because the sum of these two angles will give you 180 degree so 180 minus 40 will be equal to 40 uh, 140 degree clear now uh, again you can see that uh, this there is a point load of p at this this point load is p this load is vertical load and this load is P clear and what we will do is that you can see this is 40 angle degree so if I extend it this is 90 so this angle will be equal to 50 degree we do not know this angle and this angle so what we will do is that uh, uh, we will use law of cosine law of cosine so from law of cosine, what does law of cosine says that this side, if you want to find AC, so AC square will be equal to AC square will be equal to AB square plus BC square plus minus two times AB into BC into angle between them, which is cause of, which is 140. So cause of 140 degree so you can put a b is 750 so 750 square plus 750 b c is also 750 square this is a b and this is b c minus 2 times 750 multiplied by 750 you can also write 750 square into cos of 140 degree that will be equal to a c and if you take the square root on both side so you will get AC and this AC is equal to 1409 millimeter so this AC is 1409 millimeter now we'll find this theta by using law of sine law of sine what does law of sine says that if you take this length and opposite to this angle the ratio of length to this angle which is 750 divided by sine of theta will be equal to 1409 divided by sine of 140 degree of 140 degree so from here you will get sine of theta will be equal to 750 multiplied by sine of 140 degree divided by 1409 
and you will get theta is equal to sine inverse 750 multiplied by sine of 140 degree divided by 1409 so you will get theta will be equal to 20 degree now this angle is 20 degree I will replace this theta with 20 degree so this angle will be also 20 degree and you can see that this is a right angle so 50 plus theta plus 20 will be equal to 90 degree so theta will be also 20 degree so from here we will get this theta is also 20 degree now we have this angle so all this angle so we will move towards uh, uh, we will take joint a as free body and we will find the forces acting on joint a so you can see at point a we have a load of p which is acting downward so this is p and this uh, this this is angle 50 so this angle between um, okay the angle between a uh, at this is point a so angle between p and a b is 50 so this is the angle this is joint a this is point a and this angle between a and uh, p and a b this is this is the force a b this angle is 50 degree and you can see that this is point p clear so the angle between p and this a c is 90 plus 20 which is equal to 110 degree so i will take uh, angle between p and f a c is 110 degree you can see the load is acting downwards which cause the lung uh, uh, which causes the stress force in loop in this direction and as per newton third law the the wire applied a force in this direction which is f a c now we will uh, we will uh, join this and we will show it using force triangle so how you will do that so this is the p load which is acting downward clear and in fac f okay so the okay let me show you here this is the load fab clear then we have p and in return we have f a c okay so force in f a b is in this direction clear minus p will be in this direction and so you will get the resultant like this so let me correct it first we will draw force in a b okay yeah or you can say you can draw first p this is the p load which is downward clear and uh, the angle between p and f a b is 50 so this is angle 50 degree this is f a b so f a b plus p downward is equal to sorry kindly correct it it will be like this not a straight line it but it will be like this if i extend it over here okay so this will be f resultant will be f a c and this angle is 20 i will also show you you can see the angle between this is a b and this is ac so angle is 20 if you draw it correctly you will get this angle as 20 degree now this is the force triangle so using law of sine law of law of 
साइन वट वी कैन राइट इज दैट पी डिवाइड बाई पी दिस इज पी दिस इज पी डिवाइड बाई साइन ऑफ ट्वेंटी साइन ऑफ ट्वेंटी डिग्री विल बी इक्वल टू एफ ए बी डिवाइड एंड दिस एंगल इज वन हंड्रेड टेन डिग्री एफ ए बी डिवाइड बाई साइन ऑफ वन हंड्रेड टेन डिग्री इज इक्वल टू एफ ए सी एफ ए सी डिवाइड बाई साइन ऑफ अपोजिट एंगल विच इज फिफ्टी डिग्री ओके नाउ यू कैन रिलेट दीज टू एंड दीज टू एज वेल सिंस वी आर इंटरेस्टेड टू फाइंड आउट द फोर्स इन एफ ए बी सो वट वी विल डू इज दैट वी विल टेक पी ए बी वी विल टेक दिस इक्वेशन पी डिवाइड बाई साइन ऑफ ट्वेंटी डिग्री इज इक्वल टू एफ ए बी डिवाइड बाई साइन ऑफ वन टेन डिग्री सो फ्राम हेयर एफ ए बी इज इक्वल टू पी इंटू साइन ऑफ वन हंड्रेड टेन डिग्री डिवाइड बाई साइन ऑफ ट्वेंटी डिग्री सो पुट द वैल्यू पी इज नाइन साइन ऑफ वन हंड्रेड टेन डिग्री डिवाइड बाई साइन ऑफ ट्वेंटी डिग्री सो बाई यूजिंग कैलकुलेटर वैन यू कैलकुलेट इट एफ ए बी कम्स आउट टू बी ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट सेवन थ्री किलो न्यूटन सो दिस इज आवर रिक्वायर्ड फोर्स विच वी नीड नाउ वी विल दिस फोर्स इज इन दिस डायरेक्शन क्लियर सो वी विल फाइंड आउट फर्स्ट द एवरेज बेरिंग स्ट्रेस इन मेम्बर ओके द स्मॉलेस्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट इज इलामेबल स्मॉलेस्ट एट पॉइंट बी सो लेट्स मूव एंड सॉल्व आवर थ्री पार्ट्स सो द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज अबाउट अलावेबल पिन डायमीटर नाउ हेयर यू कैन सी दैट ड्यू टू दिस लोड ड्यू टू दिस लोड इन मेम्बर ए बी दिस पिन इज इन दिस पोर्शन इन दिस पोर्शन विच विल कॉज द डबल शेयर क्लियर सो वी नो दैट अलावेबल पिन डायमीटर वी आर इंटरेस्ट टू फाइंड अलावेबल पिन डायमीटर डी वी नो दैट शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू शेयर फोर्स नाउ हेयर शेयर फोर्स इज एफ ए बी एज द पिन इज डबल शेयर सो वी विल टेक टू टाइम्स ऑफ ए पी सो एफ ए बी डिवाइड बाई टू टाइम्स द पिन इज डबल शेयर सो टू टाइम एरिया ऑफ पिन इज If having diameter d is pi by फोर d square, so from here it will be equal to टू f a b divided by pi d square. We are find finding out d, so d square is equal to टू f a b divided by pi into tau. Put the value टू multiply by f b is twenty four point seven three. Divided by pi and allowable sharing stress is given as one twenty mega pascal. So one twenty into ten to the power one twenty into ten to the power six. Here twenty four point seven kilo newton. So we will multiply ten to the power three as well. So d after taking d square will be equal to one hundred thirty one one thirty one point one eight into ten to the power Minus six square meter, so d will be equal to if you take the square root on both side, so you will get d will be equal to eleven point four five into ten to the power minus three meter. Or you can see eleven point four five millimeter. So this is the diameter of pin at point B. Now we will move toward our second part, and second part is about the bearing stress. bearing stress at bearing stress in member in ab so we know that bearing stress is equal to uh, bearing force which is fab divided by bearing area so fa bearing area is you can see in member ab this is let's say member ab clear so this is the this force is so bearing area is this one d into thickness so fab divided by d into t clear 
so you can put the values f a b is 24.73 into 10 to power 3 divided by diameter of pin uh, uh, sorry diameter of this hole is given uh, thickness is 16 millimeter and diameter is given as uh, bearing area diameter is which we have calculated is this one four point so diameter uh, thickness is 16 millimeter so 16 is 0 point in meter is 0 0.016 multiplied by um, diameter is in meter is 0 0.011 or you can say you can pick let me choose rubber or you can say that you have 11 into 0.45 into 10 to the power minus 3 so from here you will get bearing stress in member a b comes out to be 134.9 into 10 to the power 6 or 134.9 mega pascal so this is bearing stress in member b c in c part we have been asked to find the bearing stress in support bracket so bearing stress in support bracket so again you can see there are two brackets one is this one and another is this one so this force f a b will be distributed half 1 over 2 f b in this bracket and half 1 over 2 f b a b in this bracket so in one bracket supporting bearing stress is equal to half of f a b divided by bearing area clear so half of 24.73 into 10 to the power 3 divided by bearing area is d into t so now you can see this uh, uh, thickness of this bracket is 12 thickness is 12 and the diameter is 11 point which we have calculated 11.45 so i will write it 11.45 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by thickness is 12 millimeter which is 0.012 meter so when you calculate you will get the average bearing stress in supporting bracket comes out to be uh, 90 into 10 to the power 6 which is 90 mega pascal and this is the answer of our third part c and that was all about this problem 11 1 point, uh, 2.4 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching